Hello, bonjour. On the Resin Pepper and Carrot episode 34, I used a lot the Colorize Mask. It's a feature of Krita. It's a tool to accelerate the flatting of your line art, and I already covered the topic on a video here, if you want uh, to get the link. It's an amazing tool and I love it. But today I want to skip the basics and I share only the advanced tips I found while coloring all the comic page of episode 34. So let's get started. So at first I advise you to prepare your pages to feed the colorize mask feature. Uh, my page by default has multiple layers. You have here a group with the speed line, with the drawing. The drawing is done on a gray background. It's just better for my eyes. And also I can see my uh, borderless panel here, white, that is a vector layer. Uh, but colorize mask is very hard to apply on this type of result. So I need to change that a bit. So at first I will just go on my frame and I select opaque. It's uh, the last element on the menu here. And then I want to go to select border selection. I, I will pick just like three and uh, this three pixel will be the size of the gutter here. So it transforms the selection into uh, giving a width of this. So right now I can create another layer on the top. I will name it line art and I will select some black color and go to edit fill with foreground color. So now I have some edges around my panel. I can deselect this. I can remove the speed line temporary because I want to keep them for later, but the colorize mask will be very confused with all this line. I don't want a color here, another color here, and another color here. I, I just want the same color for all the background and only the character to get uh, the area color red. So it's good to remove that. And also I will do a control A selection on my group and I will just control C, control V. So now I have a sort of projection. See, I will put it on the top. It's only the line out of the character here and I will push it just under the panel that I trusted. And I will select this uh, line art for colorization, this panel, and I will merge it with this drawing with Ctrl E. So now I have a single layer here on the top that has the character and the edge of the panel. But I have this gray background and uh, Colorize mask really prefer to get some pure black and white picture. So I will just call with Control L the levels and I will remove here the gray background with putting the white cursor on this side. And also by experience, I know that the colorize mask works a little bit better with a little bit more contrast. So I'm rising a little bit the contrast and press OK. And once I have this type of picture, it's easy to right click on it and add a colorize mask to it. So the colorize mask will just work with this type of uh, picture, but later when I will get all my colorization, I will put it under my drawing speed line and everything and, and it, will, it will look fine. So I jumped a little bit in the time here to show you the result. Uh, after I put all the little stroke, the brush stroke of markers on my colorize mask. Uh, remember it's on the basics uh, previous video. And once you have drawn all this little marker, for where you want uh, Krita to colorize your line art, you can press here this little uh, wheel colorize mask and it will compute uh, the result. Uh, but here I have already something computed, so I just activate the preview. If you have very, very, very precise line art and you don't want colorize mask to do any smoothing or anything, 
Uh, you can use this very easy setting to remember. Edge detection zero, gap close zero, and cleanup zero. And it will get the more sensitive you can about finding your lines. You can see that I selected the green color to be the transparent color. And also you can see that uh, if you plan to use the colorized mask with this little palette here, it's very complex as soon as you have many color on the page like this. So if you use this precise setting, you will also get this uh, symptom of your stroke being totally merged with the preview. So it's probably clear here because you have the red stroke that I draw that are really the same color as the merged. And, and this is complex if you have to erase, for example, a marker uh, because it's not placed the, wh where you want. So what I advise in this case is uh, to reduce the opacity of the colorized mask. That's something I, I found by an accident, but you can just reduce the opacity of your colorized mask and then you will see better your stroke but you will continue to get the preview of where the stroke fill the color. And something very good also about reducing the opacity, you get so this preview, but if you press Ctrl, Alt and click, so it's clicking on the active layer, you still select the, the color of the area. A simple Ctrl and click will select this uh, reduced opacity color and you don't want that. So it's, it's really convenient to, to sort of continue to make some more uh, stroke on your colorized mask. So I'm jumping here for a minute on my Krita with my uh, layout user interface customization because usually for the tutorial, I'm launching a Krita with all the default setting. So sorry for that, but I, I'm launching this version because on this version, I have the reference Docker installed. I will put the link into the description to this plugin. It's not a plugin installed by default on Krita, but I very love it. Um, it's a plugin that allows me to load a picture on it. And as you can see that I made a picture with some just color area, some color reference. And when I click on it, it will just select the color and you get a little preview here. So yeah, I can zoom in, zoom back and just click. So wh when I'm doing this type of work, it's, it's really convenient to just select and just fill here some color and get the skin color and quickly um, colorize like this all the pages because the color are very often repetitive across all the character in the dialogue scene. Uh, so it, it's very good to get some references. And I'm not using the reference, uh, the usual feature because the usual feature will, I will show you. Uh, if you have like here my little palette and I, I'm taking a, a palette from a previous episode and I'm doing insert as a reference image and I put it on the side, it will be good to color here, this panel, but as soon as I will move, I will have to just put it here always. And if I zoom back, I will have to move it, etc., etc. Once everything is done, just select the colorized mask, right click and convert to a paint layer. So you will get your color area, only uh, restore the opacity and uh, you can just delete your temporary uh, line out with your panel trusted. Uh, this is not useful anymore. And you can now put your line just under your inking with your speed line and restore your frame with your vector panel. And I can show you now a result of the page uh, once it was shaded with all the effect. For the next tutorial, I will show you probably how I do the shading. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you have any other tips, please write them in the comment section under the video. I'll be around to read them. 
Thank you all so very much to all the supporters of Pepper and Carrot on TPs, Patreon and LiberaPay. They really allows me to take the time to make this type of content between the episode and also the episode themselves. If you want to join them, you'll find all the links in the description. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.